Let's see if it's consistent. So if I measure these here, doesn't matter really exactly what they are. Let's go over here. This is the non-worn child. So here I have three three hundreds. Three hundreds, okay. Hi again. This is my wonderful setup. Oh, I'm just kidding. This is a, a makeshift arrangement for measuring the, the vertical shears. So what I've done here is to try to measure off from the reference surface, which is only lightly stoned and should be pristine, should be flat all the way. The bed lying like this. This is it is evident to see to so the unworn and unused guide, which is mill milled, and uh, of course then at the same time as the rest of the bed. So that should be pristine reference and I surface measure um, from that to this surface, which is the the front of the front way and the rear of the front way. Of course, on this machine, which is an old style of machine, you have the um, narrow guide, narrow guide principle, where you have the saddle running on this front shear, and also the tailstock running on the inner front shear, inner inner front way. I also, if you see the saddle here, um, also tried to use this, uh, but it was a little bit flimsy, I think. Anyway, uh, of course, the saddle runs like this normally, and you have shims here. So the saddle is drawn to this inner surface of the front way. And it rides on the on the quite short distance here. So what I will try to do is to convert it to the wide guide, so to speak, where you use the whole of the rear of the rear bedway here. So then it will ride on the shim, which is going to be here, towards there, and here. Well, I will shim it up with the correct uh, um, thickness of rulon or that is a um, turkite material or a way liner material I will scrape that so that it fits and rides and will free this uh, will be open gap here uh, if I use this to measure like that of course what will happen if I do like that, it won't ride on this reference surface. It's evident here, it will, there will be gap here because it will ride on this surface. So I have to introduce a shim, which I've done here. Then I can measure like that here. But it was a little bit flimsy and this tendency to drop out so I therefore uh, constructed a different uh, let's say apparatus. You see it's there's suction here so it, it's it's quite flat it's not much worn. 
this first took a couple of plays and this first like a version of that I did but this is a little bit short so I, I thought that you spread out by using this rather long and then you can also let it go over here so then I have measured and found that there is almost nowhere on the uh, front and back of the front way way um, I mean the front wall uh, way here has almost equal I measure almost equally towards the end so hmm I thought maybe I blew them up to see I so did I found out this was actually not totally flat to my surprise at least the bluing showed both on this granite and on I have different other straight edges and by different um, methods so there was a a thou or a half a thou actually more like half a thou here which was not entirely flat So it's a little bit. Uh... So now I have zeroed the indicator I'm all the way up on the tailstock end. Let's see we again. Okay. Then I run the attraction towards the headstock. Now I'm at the end here, as you can see, at the end. I can try back again. Yes, it zeroes. Now it runs up again. This is the front of the front way. Out now. So same measurement, but on the inside way, we have run the indicator towards tailstock end. We can zero it again. It's a little bit tricky. It's very delicate, like that. And then we run it to the headstock. out we do it in again slowly up towards the tailstock have a little bit of stick slip we see the error is not that large there is some so there's something to work on And uh, I'm not sure everyone noticed, uh, of course you did, that uh, I had an inability, I think, to measure, or the difficulty to measure consistently with the micrometer across like this. Um, this is not new, but I had a uh, set of new also I used, so of course I don't want them to grind the tip of this but the flats here against the flats there and here I find it a little bit difficult to get consistent results and get the feel of it all the time that's my my mm, problem really but uh, at least that's where I thought maybe we could introduce worn out million cutter which is damaged but of course I'm the only one that damages them, aren't I? Am I not? I mean, 
Uh -huh. I guess we all have them. Um, again, Dubu clamps. And then clamping it down here. Like this. Tighten, should be okay. And then you can measure. Probably this is better, or let's say easier, at least for the less experienced like me to get a feel with the micrometer there. Just to, we'll try that out. And then, by the way, these are called Dubu Dubuque clamps, and uh, they are really handy. Uh, can be easily set, and then twisted, and they actually have a really firm grip was something I uh, learned from Richard also, actually. And because I'm space-oriented in here, they go up there, together with the other clamps. And oiling up the ways, rubbing this against the way you will <coughs> when two areas are flat together they will ring up with like gauge blocks again <coughs> stick <coughs> 